Hey there, I'm going to show you how to transfer your Red Dead Redemption 2 save from your PlayStation 4 to your PC. You're going to want to start by going to the link in the description. It'll be for this website, Red Dead Redemption Save Editor. We're going to click this download link right here. You don't need to worry about the Get Save Wizard link. Just click that. We'll download this. It'll bring us this Mediafire page. Click Download. There you go. And you can see I already downloaded it. We can delete this old one. And we're just going to want to extract the program from this uh, zip folder. We can delete that now. And we have Red Dead Redemption Save Editor. Let's just open that and make sure it runs. And it works. So now that we know this is working, we're going to transfer over to our PlayStation 4. All right, now we're over on our PlayStation. You're going to need a USB flash drive. Just plug that into your PlayStation. Any of the two slots will do. We're going to go up to our settings. We're going to scroll down to application data. Save data and system storage. Copy to USB storage device. And then you're going to want to scroll down and find Red Dead Redemption 2. If it doesn't show up, then it's probably not installed and it'll be under one of these. So just go through those until you find it. For me, it's already installed, so I'll just click that. You're gonna wanna select all, and then copy. And I will meet you over back on the computer. All right, so now we're back on our PC. If we insert our flash drive, we'll see a folder called PS4. We go in there, save data. This is your profile ID your game ID, and here's your Red Dead Redemption 2 save. In the top right, we're gonna filter this out to only a couple files by typing save data S R D R, all one word, save data S R D R, and you'll see it filters down to two or four or six files. You're just gonna wanna copy all these to your desktop or some other location. Uh, but we're going to want to separate these from the rest. Now, we have our save data. We're going to want to open up Discord. And I will link this Discord server in the description. On the left side, you'll find HTOS SaveBot. You're going to find the HTO channel. We're going to go in there. Now, under each of these, you'll see a begin button, get started, create thread. These are each bots. So a lot of them won't work. Just click each of the buttons until you find one that does. This PS bot seems to be the best one. So we'll click get started. You'll see it sends me a message creating thread. If we go down here, you'll see it created a thread and I'm now talking to the save bot. Next, we're gonna wanna type forward slash decrypt. And you'll see it'll pull up commands for all the different bots you need to click the command for the correct bot so this one has the ps bot icon and you'll see it'll also say ps bot right here we're going to click this one it'll add this tag include s-c-e-s-y-s -E -S. you want true and then hit enter on your keyboard and it's going to ask us please attach at least two encrypted save files you want to upload We'll click the plus button, upload a file. We're going to copy all these, open, and then send that message. You'll see upload alert successful, decryption process downloading, blah, blah, blah. Choose if you want second layer removed, decrypted, or just Sony PFS layer encrypted. We want it decrypted. So you click decrypted on the left. Bot will do its thing. We'll click decrypt it again because this is two different saves. And there we go. So it spit out this zip folder containing our decrypted files now. So we can download that. And you can see up here, it downloaded that file for me. We open that. Here's our two save folders. 
Now you can copy both of these to your PC version, but I only want the newest one personally. So I'm just going to do this 30,008. Um, and here we go. This is your save file. This is literally all you need. Um, this SRDR30008. So we're going to extract this to our desktop. And then we can delete these other ones that we were working with. Right. So now we only have this SRDR30008. Now we're going to want to open Red Dead Redemption Save Editor that we had downloaded earlier. In the top left, you'll find Open Save. And then we can go to our desktop or wherever you saved it to. We'll find that Save SRDR. I don't need to make a backup. I'm just not worried about it. We have the file right there if we want it. All right. And now this should pull up everything you have. So you can see your cores, where you're at. Don't judge me. My honor's really low. This was when I was like 18 when the game first came out. <laughs> so what you're gonna wanna, what you're gonna want to do is hit this little rainbow button in the top left. Kind of easy to miss. Convert save to a different platform. Save slot. We'll just leave it at slot zero. And then we're gonna convert it to PC. Looks like it's the only option. Convert. And then let's do the desktop. Let's just make a new folder. PC save. And save that. Save has been successfully converted to PC. Click OK. And we're done. We can close that. Close that. Now, this is our Red Dead Redemption 2 PS4 save ready to go for PC. Now, to transfer this over, you're going to want to open your documents. Uh, scroll down in your documents folder and find Rockstar Games. It'll be a, a folder. Inside of there, you should find Red Dead Redemption 2. And then you should find a folder called Profiles. If you want to back up your profile, now's the time to do it. This is it. So I would copy this folder and save it somewhere else. Um, if we go in there, though, all we need to do is delete everything. Copy this guy over. Now we can launch the game. Let's make sure it works. All right, now... Let's just kind of show you a uh, before and after. So this is my current PC save. You can see decent honor. Um, you can see my current quests. Trelawney and Micah, whatever. Um, and there's my map as well. And now here is my PlayStation save after transferring it. All right. And here you can see this is very clearly not the Arthur I was just playing as. This is 18-year-old me, Arthur. <laughs> so we can see this is definitely the PS4 save. You see that very low honor that we saw in the save editor. Um, I don't really know what else I can show you. I guess the, the quests are all different. The map, um, clearly a later game. So, yeah, there we go. That's... Uh, that is my PlayStation 4 save from like 2018 on my PC in 2025. And hopefully this tutorial has helped you do the same. If you have any questions or you need help with anything along the way, if anything is not working, you know, just shoot me a comment. I'm always willing to help out. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye.